Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video, as requested, we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 running in Wine. Now, this is currently going as a on-the-house free game on Origin, so if you want to try and get it yourself, you are welcome to. It is currently free. So just to showcase, I'm running a clean Wine prefix, 1.7.52 staging here. Clean, meaning I haven't done anything special or anything else, really. I've just downloaded this version and installed Origin into it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm just going to left click it, click play. So this is on Ubuntu 15.10. I'm running off my AMD R9 390 with the Radeon SI drivers. So it'll pop up with a small error at first, but that's okay. Now you can start either Red Alert 2, the normal one, or Yuri's Revenge. I'm going to go ahead and jump into Red Alert 2, the basics first. Let me just go ahead and close this. So it will start off in a small window at first. I definitely recommend starting this game in a wine windowed mode first on purpose because as I'll show you here in options, this is an old game. So the highest resolution you can go to is 1024 by 768. Now that's not really appropriate. I'd rather bring it up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and exit the game. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the Red Alert directory. Let's go to this. I'm going to right click the origin icon here. I'm going to go to open the applications directory. Now I'm going to go to where the actual file, uh, any file is. So if I go to program files here, origin games, command and conquer red alert 2. I scroll down. I'm looking for ra2.ini. So I see an ra2.md.ini here. This is for Red Alert 2 Yuri's Revenge. You'll want to edit this if you want to play that. I'm going to be editing ra2.ini. This is for the normal Red Alert 2. So this right here, this section here, under video is what we're going to be editing. See that it says 1024 by 768? I'm going to jump it up to 1600 by 900. Later on, I will showcase a 1080p window running, hopefully. I'll close this, close this. Let's go back and center this onto here. We should have a 1600 by 900 window running. Give it a couple of seconds to start up. Don't worry about that error too much. So Westwood Studios, sadly a company that EA dragged down into the ground. Click exit there. Okay. We are seeing it work. Okay. If you go to options, you'll notice that this has been changed. Do not change it here anymore. All right, if you're going to change it, change it through that text file I showed you just now. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into single player. I'm going to start a new campaign. Uh, I have turned off the music on purpose so that I don't get any copyright claims. Now I'm going to play as Tanya, locked and loaded. So as you can Commander, see here, the We've movie scenes work. I am going to skip ahead from that. It's free, so you go. You should go ahead and download it yourself. Stand by. The Soviet Navy is attacking the Statue of Liberty. Time to protect the Statue of Liberty. Sir, is there anything you can do? Incoming transmission. Look at that. Everything's working so far. Pretty neat. Let me just go ahead and center this just a little bit more. Tiny I am here. recording at 60 frames Listen per up. second. We so, got a couple common so far, so good. In the harbor. Looking for a special sightseeing tour of the Hudson River. I say we give them a very special view of the bottom first. So we're playing the first level here of Allies. Control online. Time to go ahead and see for these guys. I love playing this character. You, you hear her laugh a lot. <laughs> psycho. So psycho. Oops, I missed that one. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Primary objective achieved. Now when I'm playing in windowed mode, if I try to go off the edges, you'll see my mouse will exit out. That's not really what I want. So I just right click in the map and I'm able to move around like this. Okay, they got a whole lot of backup. Time to take them out. Oh, they got the Statue of Liberty. Oh. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Is it you? I offer a special invitation to citizens of the United States from the great. Let's see if I can go and nuke these. See your liberty. How she lies broken before you. So as you can see, everything's working, even with the small movie scenes on the top right there. City of New York. Follow in her footsteps. Can I get up here? I can't recall. The choice nope, doesn't look like yours. it. You can continue to mourn your past or surrender. I've got a base. And join us. I got a bunch of doggies. Doggy. 
Doesn't sound good, sir. We're going to have to double time it the rest of the way to reach Fort Bradley in time. Pretty sure I can get these guys now, right? Yes. Double time! Double time! Hoo Come on, soldiers. Move it. Usually when I play these levels, I just control Tanya because the rest of them are pretty useless. <laughs> she can handle everything on her own. Look at all that destruction. Come on, we can save him. Go and assist. Go and assist. Unit lost. What? Damn it. Didn't get there fast in time. Look at that. She practically insta kill everything. I just need to get to that base. So this is just pretty much a showcase of it running well on Ubuntu 15.10 here. This should work as well for Ubuntu 14.04 and 15.04. Just so long as you have the correct wine version that I'm using. This is the latest version of Origin as well. The update now works, so that's a good thing. Oh uh, yeah, suckers, take it, take it, take it. I could go into the gas station, but I'd rather not. Move down a bit, move down a bit. Shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. Can I bomb these? Nope, I cannot. Now, if you play skirmishes, you'll notice this game speed is too fast. You'll need to manually adjust that. But thankfully, the campaign modes, the speeds are just right. They're turning over control of the base and its troops Bradley. to you. Looks like I can't go there. Incoming transmission. Oh, is that nuke? Is that a nuke? Good work, Commander. We're back in contact with no, the No, that's not a nuke. Why Tanya is that guy flying over? Tanya has sent over intel on the location of an important Soviet supply base in the area. General Carville would like you to dispose of it ASAP. ASAP. Soviet oh, paratroopers. Keep up the good work, sir. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they dropped down there. Let's go take them out. Let's go take them out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, so far so good. Seems to be running pretty well. Insta-kill. Way too easy. Okay, let's see if I can go ahead and save game. Now, you'll notice these black areas here. This is because we're stretching it way above the resolution that it was intended for. But that's okay because in-game it works just fine. Operation Lone Guardian. Yep, that's okay. I'm going to save that. I think I, I think I just have to hit enter. Yes. Just have to hit enter and we're good. Did I crash it? Or do I hit enter again? Okay, for whatever reason, the UI is off there, so you just need to use enter, otherwise it's not going to work. So I'm going to abort mission. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go ahead and jump this up to 1080p. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do, how I get it up to 1080p, because a lot of people have problems trying to keep up, uh, trying to do it themselves. So first off, as I showed you just now, I'm going to go ahead once again to the applications directory. What we're doing here first is we're going to modify the resolution of the game. So I go to Origin Games. This is where I downloaded and installed my games. You may have downloaded and installed them to other directories. So I go to Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. Once again, I scroll down. This time I'm going to edit both the ra2.ini file. I'm going to jump this up to 1920 by 1080 right here. Okay. So under this video section right here, let me see if I can go ahead and zoom in so you can see this. So under the video section right here, 1920 by 1080p. All right. And I'm going to save this file. One more file we need to do is RA2MD. I forgot to note at the beginning, these files won't be there if you haven't at least run the game once. So please run the game once for both versions before these files will appear. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and change this to 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to click Control Save to save it. All right, that should do. That's only one part of the equation, though. After you've gone ahead and saved those resolution changes, we now have to edit our wine window. This little beauty right here, I've limited it to 1600 by 900, but obviously we want to run it in full screen. So the last piece of the puzzle for us to jump into 1080p is, of course, to configure Wine. So previously, we've already configured the game itself, the configuration files. So let's go ahead and configure my Wine prefix for Origin here. So selecting your Origin install, click Configure. Then go to the Wine tab here. Then click 
configure one. So I've already gone ahead and done this already, so it, it won't show it up in the window, but that's okay. So what you see here, let me zoom into this. Under the graphics tab, make sure that everything here is unticked. Untick everything here to get a full screen experience. Now I did try doing this in a full screen window, but uh, unfortunately the Unity bar would keep uh, overlapping the game, so that would really suck. So by doing this, hopefully we get a full screen window without issue. I'm gonna go ahead, If you should click apply after you make the changes, and then click OK. So I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna close that. Now I'm gonna start up Origin. Let's minimize Play on Linux there. So it should be windowless right now. So it looks like it's running natively on Ubuntu, even though it is not. Give it a couple of seconds to start up. There we go. I'm gonna go to My Games, scroll down to Red Alert 2, click Play. That error should pop up somewhere around here. Yep, it does. Let's click this. I'm gonna click Red Alert 2. It should start up full screen. Yes, thankfully it does. Any windows on the side here? Nope, so far so good. Okay, let me go ahead and skip that. I'm going to go back to single player and I'm going to load up my saved game just now. Click load. And there we go, so far everything's working. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this round. Let's double check to confirm that it's working. You can see my mouse pointer here. When I go to the left of the screen, it moves the screen there. Move upwards, move downwards, and move to the right. So it is confirmed to work. So let's move these guys there. I'm still being attacked. Somehow I'm supposed to get over there and I'm not sure how. I got doges, doge. Do I have any vehicles? Can make a power plant, oil refinery, and barracks. What can I do with barracks? Not much. Nope. Soviet paratroopers are incoming. Oops. Oops. No, 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 no. You keep doing what you gotta do. Guess I gotta go back and kill these guys. Probably have to survive a couple rounds of them. I don't remember because it's been so long since I last played these titles. Get ready. Nope, that's not working. Sir, this is an engineer. Go. He can repair any allied building. I have the tool, and sir. once inside an enemy building, repair, repair, repair. He is much smarter than a Soviet counterpart. Come on. Unit ready. Oh, that was just a douchebag thing to say. Repair. He's much smarter than his Soviet counterpart. That's racist. <laughs> Come on. No, can she? I can blow these up. Do I want to blow them up though? That is the question. Boom! Shakalaka! Watch out for those patrol arrows. They seem highly unstable. Perhaps we can use them to our advantage. Okay, took those out. Can I actually destroy these vehicles? It's gonna take forever to do it. Take those out. Take these guys out as well. Destroy that and it should blow up the. No, it did not. Oh, crabby patties! Oh, crabby patties! Go back! Run! Run! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Where was my engineers? I think I used them all up. Let me go ahead and create a couple more engineers. Maybe I should set the hounds onto the enemies here. Let's go throw them in. Use all my assets available. What can you do? Can you bomb that? Can you bomb that? No, you can't. But you can go in there. Let's go see what that does. <laughs> well, Tanya pistol whips a vehicle to death. <laughs> Uh, oh, poor doges. Poor doges. Take them all, doge. Take them all. Beautiful doge. I love you, doge. Very good doge. Oh, sweet. There's a back entrance. Unit lost. Just need to go through here. Unit promoted. Can I destroy that faster? Come on. Any moment now. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I can blow that up. Let's go ahead and blow that up as well. Oh, where are you going? Stay in control. Destroy that as well. Let's go ahead and destroy those. Everything I can explode, I shall. For the, for the big buildings, I probably need a couple of engineers. Let's blow that up. I can blow enough of the power supply as well, I can probably turn off the turrets as well. Uh, gotta take out these guys. 
I need to make more engineers. It's gonna take forever if I want to destroy the. Oh wait, no, I can. Yeah, that's right. I can see for these suckers. Tanya is basically a one-man army right now. That's how overpowered she is. <laughs> and that laugh, man. That laugh is awesome. Let's blow that up. Let's go ahead and blow up power as well. I don't want those turrets turning on me. Destroy this shit turn off the turrets. I cannot confirm. Nope, I cannot confirm if I destroyed those or not. Cha-ching! Oh, no, 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 no. They are still very much alive. Blow that up. I'm guessing there must be a power supply somewhere at the bottom left here. Probably something I didn't see. Let's go ahead and take that out as well. Take this out as well. What the heck? What's keeping those turrets alive? I don't know. What I am going to do is going to put those guys there. And... Oh, the Soviets are still attacking, so I guess I should just bring in a whole bunch of G.I. Joes. And set the point spawn point right here. New rally point established. Unit promoted. Let's go there. Take that guy out. Unit ready. Those engineers are gonna do what they gotta do. Building captured. Our base is under attack. New construction. Okay, while they're focused on that. I'm gonna bring in my GI Joes, cause a distraction. Gonna move these guys in. So while the turrets are distracted there, I'm gonna see for these suckers. Unit lost. Come on, 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 come on! Rush, 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 rush! Tanya's the most important crap sticks. One down. Next one, next one. Sir, I'm oh. sorry. Unit lost. That is such an epic fail. <laughs> She blew up! Oh my goodness. Alright, that's it for this gameplay video and quick how-to. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It does run very well on Ubuntu 15.10 as long as you're running it on Wine Staging 1.7.52. So yeah, that's it for this gameplay video, guys. Thank you for watching.